look, I, I think I think he, him and his team learned that Cuellar was not training with me, so they took advantage of the moment and, and gave me a call. One of his close friends called me. I met him in the office, and then the second time I came over, that's when Midas came to that office, and we, we talked and started. Uh, that's when we decided to work together. Nice. Look, uh, Midas came to me as a student, and he's learning, and he's still following instructions. First thing I told him is, you're training in my gym, not in your gym. And every day he's training in my gym. He uh, he hasn't complained about anything. I told him what time we were training, and that's the time he's training. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm very happy that that he's doing everything he's told. He's learning every day. He he's doing new things. People that pe things that people forgot about Maris. It's not like I'm teaching many things. It's, I'm bringing old things that he used to do four or five years ago that he hasn't done in the in the past few years. But uh, but I'm bringing him that back. Training. Look, his his ethic in the gym is, is is unbelievable. He trains, and when I'm when I tell him you're done, he says I could do a few more rounds. If if we're sparring six rounds, he says I could do a couple more, coach, and we do them because because that that's that's the that's that's the mentality he's got to become champion again and to become one of the best featherweights ever. Look, we have to we have to come up. You know, we have to continue doing the game plan. You know, follow. He has to follow the game plan till the last bell rings because. Cuellar is very dangerous, has tremendous power, so we have to fight very smart. And if he doesn't make mistakes and tries to exchange, then we, you know, we should be fine.